Hi there, I'm Chris from CarstensBazaar.com and today we're going to be painting my favourite walker from The Walking Dead All Out War and here's Negan by Mantic Games. So, painting the walker, first thing we've got to do is select the walker. I'm painting my favourite one, it's uh, this shirt, this one with the stomach hanging out. There's lots of skin on this model and since I really enjoy painting skin, I really enjoy this model. Uh, to start with, we're using Rockarth Flesh, which is a base paint uh, from Citadel. And I've got some just on my palette, off to the side here. And I've thinned it down, just about the consistency of milk, to give me good coverage. And uh, with it being a base paint, it's got quite a strong colour. Uh, I've undercoated these previously using Mechanicus Standard Grey Spray Paint. There's a, vit a video tutorial how to use spray paints for undercoating your minis in the description below. So, rack off flesh, we just load our brush up and then we'll set about where the flesh is. Don't have to be particularly neat at this point. Anything that gets on the uh, the clothing we can always just tidy up later. I'm just trying out a new camera setup as well. So I've not been particularly happy with the previous ones I've used. At least with this way I can keep the model in shot while painting it and having it not being obscured and things like that. So let me know in the comments if you prefer the videos in this uh, in this setup. So I'm going to leave him to dry. Uh, while he's drying, I do have the other uh, walkers to paint as well. So I'm going to crack on with them while this dries. The Rakoth Flesh now dried. We're going to then go with Pallid Witch Flesh. And we're going to be picking out some of the highlights in the model. So we're looking for bits like there on the chest here. I'm just going to leave a little bit of that Ragarth flesh shown as well around the, uh, the edges and in the recesses as well. So bits like on the, the muscle on the arm. Just getting those top bits. And then with the Rakarth flesh showing in the, the deep eye recesses, it just adds a lot more depth and definition to the muscle. Just going to grab that bit there. So it's just a case of taking your time and going across the model and just picking out all those little highlights.
and that's the pallid witch flesh layer down there. So again I'm just going to leave that to dry and in the meantime I'm going to paint the uh, the other walkers that I've got to paint as well. With the pallid witch flesh now dried we're ready to apply a shade of Reitland flesh shade. That's just going to give we a bit of a more skin tone to them and uh, with it reacting with the uh, Radgoth flesh and Pallid Witch flesh underneath it'll give like a really nice pale flesh tone which we'll be able to add a, a look of rot to as well and uh, we'll just be adding rot using some more washes so right and flesh shade just going over all the flesh you don't want it to be pooling anywhere so if it starts to, uh, to pool in some of the recesses just run your brush over it again and move it around the model Now depending on the, the wash you use, you'll create different tone, uh, skin tone effects. Uh, using Seraphim Sepia, you can get more of a uh, like an olive skin tone. Apex Earth Shade, you create a darker skin tone, and you just apply one or two layers of it just to, just to get the uh, the tone you want, and then we can start adding like a. Uh, under skin bruising and things like that, like where the where the rot's starting to set in. So once uh, right the flesh shades dried, we'll be moving on to adding some of that rot in. Next, we're going to use Droopy Violet, which is another shade from Citadel, and you're just using a little bit on this one. I like to put it into the uh, into the eyes. It gives like a, it's like a bruised appearance once that dries. Just using a little bit, just dotting it in. And then look in anywhere where there's some like really good bite marks and things like that. And it'll just give the effect of um, like it's a pretty infected wound. So with this guy with his stomach being open, I'm going to put it around there, and he's got these like slices of his chest as well. And then his back, he's got these like, wounds. I like to have them look infected as well. So you don't want to use a lot of it, like I say. Just you want to be picking out key areas because a little goes a long way with this effect. Now we're going to use Caraberg Crimson, which is another shade from Citadel. And for this, I find the best uh, technique for this to just make the skin look inflamed is by going around where we've just done the druggy violet, apart from the eyes. So just where you went before, and you're basically just tracing the outline of that. We 
it just gives this great look of like the skin's bruised and infected and it just adds a little bit more colour onto the model as well. And that's how I do the zombie flash. Like I said, depending on uh, different washes that you use to, to colour um, the base of the skin, you get different uh, different effects, and you can very easily create a whole, whole horde of zombies, which all look different, but all have had the same basic technique done to them. <laughs> 